turn now to the newly redrawn District 7 for Congress. That's where Republican Corey Mills came out on top of a crowded field of candidates. Eight in total were vying for a chance to turn that district red in November. News 6's Eric Sandoval is breaking down the many reasons why this race was so closely watched. On the Republican side, eight candidates wanted to move on to the November general election, but one name rose to the top when all the votes were counted, and that was combat veteran Corey Mills. He walked into thunderous applause and hugs here at the Hard Rock Daytona Beach tonight. Here's what he told the crowd afterward. We will take back America. We will take back the House. We will secure our country once again. We will focus on our borders. We will stop the interventionism that has led to billions of dollars being frivolously spent. Now, Mills moves on to the November general election where he will take on Democratic challenger Karen Green. Green won her party's nomination tonight as well. Both of them trying to take over a seat held by Democrat Stephanie Murphy. We're in Daytona Beach. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6.